It's Shriek Blog, the video. I'm Julian, the sidekick. I'm so happy to be here. Now here's your host, Dr. Dave Verhagen. Verhagen. Uh, shut your pretty girl cake hole. A man has his limits. Your mom has her limits. One of my favorite topics in psychology is the idea of resiliency. And the idea of resiliency is that some people are really able to take the slings and arrows of life, no matter what life throws at them, and come back stronger, even stronger than before. And some of the movies that we love, including some recent movies, really have great depictions of resilient people. And I want to give you just three examples of resiliency in the movies, of people that overcame great adversity or great odds and came back sometimes even stronger than they were before. The first is a movie called The King's Speech, which you know won the Oscar for Best Picture last year. And The King's Speech features George VI. He was a stutterer, he was not a public speaker, and yet it was a time of war and things were moving toward this really critical point in history and he knew he had to be the man. And so he worked with a therapist and overcame his stuttering and gave this rousing speech that stirred the nation. It's a great picture of resiliency. If you ever want to show a movie or watch a movie with your kids or with other people that really has a great picture of what it means to be a resilient person, The King's Speech is a great one. Another one is a movie called Soul Surfer. It's about Bethany Hamilton. She was a surfer and she was out on her surfboard one day and a giant shark came and literally bit her arm off. And it was incredibly traumatic, it was incredibly bad, and yet she goes through this recovery process and with the help of her friends and family and the people that are kind of close to her and dear to her, she rebuilds her life and she comes back and becomes a competitive surfer again. And the last one is a movie that I love. I think it's the best picture of resiliency of any of these. It's called 127 Hours. It's by a guy, about a guy named Aaron Ralston. And Aaron Ralston, you probably know the story. He was in a canyon, a boulder fell down and pinned his arm to the wall. He tried for a long time to move the boulder. He tried to, to get away and he couldn't do it. And eventually he realized he's either going to die or he's going to cut his own arm off. And so with a pocket knife and just basic stuff, he cut his own arm off, freed himself in the middle of nowhere, and he comes back and he survives. Now all these stories, The King's Speech with George VI, uh, Soul Surfer with Bethany Hamilton, and also 127 Hours with Aaron Ralston all are about resilient people and they're all real people. In fact, Brittany, uh, or Bethany Hamilton and Aaron Ralston are still alive. They're still um, making appearances and speeches. They're really great pictures of what it means to be a resilient person. So if you're ever interested in the topic of, of what it looks like to be a person that overcomes great odds and great obstacles and is a really resilient person, these are three great movies for you. I'm Dave Verhagen. This is Shrink Blog, and we'll see you next week.